Hi, this is Dr. Samir Shamshuddin from OSIRIXUKUserGroup.org. I'm going to present a wonderful software to you and demonstrate how to integrate PowerPoint and Keynote with OSIRIX. This is just a quick demo. In this slide, you can see that there are two cases which are labeled as case one and case two, and both of them are underlined. What does the underline mean? If I click on that, it shows me on inspector that this is underlined to be enabled as a hyperlink to a website and it's the same on the second one there is a URL which is linked with this case so when I go on the play button I can see that this is now highlighted as a case one hyperlink so when I click on this case let's see what happens that opens up a case from Osarix which can be scrolled. Isn't that great? To, back, to go back to the presentation, all I do is I click Command and Tab and select Keynote. So I click the case too. What this does is it closes the first case and opens up the second case. That's magic. That's absolute magic. So let's go back to my keynote and I'll tell you exactly what I have done. So I have created links in the PowerPoint as well as you can create links in PowerPoint or in keynote. So just type the and highlight the word then right click and select hyperlink or command plus K in PowerPoint and then type or copy paste the link below which is this link it's there on the website so you can use that link but make sure that you change the patient ID to the keys in your database because Shamsha 0280 is my case the word which you have highlighted is now converted into a link and during presentation clicking the link will launch Osarex. Similarly in Keynote you can type and highlight the word and then click Inspector. I'm sure people using Keynote are aware of what Inspector does. And then select the curved arrow from the list which will enable as hyperlink and uh, paste the link and change the patient ID as we did in the previous step. To navigate from and out of Osarix, I would use Command and Tab. This will navigate between Osarix and presentation. You can enjoy and stun the audience with this. To do this particular method of uh, presentation, you would need an extra software which will link Osarix and PowerPoint, Keynote, or any any per any other application. So I'm going to take you to a website called Asturion, which gives you this software for free. So if you go to the home page and go all the way down, in the latest news you can click Open Osarix Images from Keynote. And then there are two softwares. The first one is a software which is based on Ruby on Rails. You don't want that software that's a bit complex. I would recommend going for the second software, which is this one. Download the app from here. So I have put together a Word document. which is again available on the website on key steps on how to download, install and prepare your talk. So visit the Turion website and download the software. Copy the downloaded zip file to the applications folder and unzip the contents. And from the applications, double click on a simple HTTP server app. Um, I'll just show you how the app works. So don't worry about what's happening here in the center of the window. What I'm really worried about is the server port and Osiris XML RPC port. So this needs to be 12345 by default. And the right hand side is the 
Osirix listener port. So if you go to Osirix and uh, click Osirix preferences under listener, you will see that my port is 8080. It can be different in other people, but make sure that you enter that particular port. And for the first time when you enter, you, you will have to enter and uh, then quit the application. I would recommend you to go through the steps as in this uh, document to get your application set up. It's very easy. All you need to do is just launch the application, change the port numbers, and then launch Keynote and Safari, type the hyperlink, and change the patient ID, and all done. Trust me, it's as simple as that. Uh, while presenting your presentation in a conference, make sure that you launch Osirix, Keynote, Chrome or Safari, whichever is your web browser, and then start the server up. In Keynote or PowerPoint, go to slideshow mode and then click on the link in the PowerPoint presentation and it will launch the case within Osiris. But make sure that the case which you have linked is actually present in the database which is open at the time of presentation and again uh, command and tab will help you to navigate between PowerPoint or Osirix uh, PowerPoint or Keynote into Osirix. Happy days ahead, stun your audience. I would like to thank uh, John from Turian who has uh, kindly developed this software on request and he has made it available for free for all of us radiologists to use in conferences. Uh, the developers would uh, hugely appreciate any donation through PayPal. Please do consider and uh, donate uh, uh, as per your convenience. Uh, many thanks for listening to my video. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, you will be able to link PowerPoint or Keynote to Sarix and uh, make the best use of this software. Thank you.